So lads, we're here for episode 18 of the Newcastle United career mode. The season is nearly at the end. As you can see, we're in April now. We've got two Premier League games today. One away, one at home. One away, as you can see, is against Leicester. The one at home is Manchester United. A team that is around the position where... Not one of the top four teams that we're pushing with, but two games that we've got to win if we want to continue to... To try and stay in the top four because it is so so tight and we can't afford to drop any points whatsoever we're going to get straight in the way we're going to meet the team and this is the team i'll play versus leicester so this is the team we're going to play leicester are currently sitting bottom of the league but we do have a little bit of a a, a, a week obviously for the next game we've got no midweek game so i'm just going to keep the same team the exact same best squad we've got obviously i think gauge fitness is really bad so we've got sean bottom in but i don't mind that whatsoever and Brebbles went to win 82 after Swaves in 81 in the last episode, but let's get to it now. Leicester City away. Leicester, bottom of the league, gonna be a win, the boys. Isaac, Isaac! Too easy, too easy. In fact, boys, in the last episode, Isaac didn't score, which was just thinking a bit mad because he always scores. That is. 39 goals just in the Premier League this season. Just glides through. Four minutes in against bottom of the league. Happy days. Great tackle, Tino. Brilliant, that like Tino Livermento. No great tackle again by Joe Linton. Oh, Anthony Gordon just skips through them all. Oh, I actually thought that was flying in. What a save, Nick Poe. Wow. Oh no, Isaac is apparently injured. Oh, but it happened in the last game with Tonali, but he seemed to be alright, so hopefully we'll have to bring him off because I don't fancy playing Wilson for the rest of the fucking season, I tell you that. Half time, you know what? Even though we're 1 0 up, Leicester, I generally think they've deserved it. Like they've had 7 shots at half 4 and had more possession. Like, they've, they've done really well. We've had to make some really good last ditch tackles as well. Look, the main bottom of the league, but. Any game can any game can go either way. You know what I fucking mean. Second half. Got to be on side. Oh, he's missed it. You put, you put your money on. He's at a score that. Oh, we're going to make some changes. We're going to make Harvey Barnes on against his old team. Tino's knackered and got a yellow card. Even Bruno's knackered. I might have to bring Longstaff on. Then we'll bring Lee Davis on. No. Eighty third minute. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Fabian Shaw. Oh my god. I don't know what happened there with Fabian Shaw. Like, what's happened with the scoreboard now? It's saying I've got fucking four red cards. And then all the names that are gone. Oh, long staff, man. Fuck's sake, man. No. Last chance of the game. This is it. Oh, he's won the title. Don't you dare blow the whistle, ref. I'm even going to get the corner. I do. I get the corner. Here we go, boys. Oh. No, man, that's it. We've bottled it. I can't kind of believe it. That is two massive points dropped, that league. That is two massive points dropped. Yeah, it's away from home, but it's against the worst team in the league. I can't kind of believe it. I really can't. It. Big points uh, dropped that league, I have to say. And then Man United with my next game. Read them Man United at home. We're not going to change anything from the team. Eh? We've, we've changed Gay Heaver Botman due to the fitness thing. But all I know that I'm fourth. I'm not, I haven't even checked the league table just in case this, that result massively affected us. Because I know how tight it is. We're just going to play this game and then look at the league table. Man United on a Sunday at St. James's. Normally goes to plan in real life. But let's see what we can do. Manchester United, always a big game, come on. What a ball that was. What a pass, go on, go on. Oh, it's a good save, oh, I don't even get the rebound. 
Oh, why was the fake shot so big? Great pass. Go on, Izak. Get in! 1 0. Alexander Izak. We played well. Played much better at home in this game compared to that game versus Leicester. I don't know what it was. That game versus Leicester, they the, the probably did deserve a point. But so far, now it's happened. Good goal by Izak. 1 0. Brilliant tackle by Bruno G. Oh, it's an own goal. I am not complaining about that. Like, I, I wanted to pass to Mbemo. I was being a little shit. Oh, I'm not complaining about that. Like, come on. 2 0. Big, big goal. All came from Bruno G. We're on the ball in a key position. He's at what well, I thought he's at might have been offside. I don't know if Luke Shaw might have been playing him on from the other side of the pitch. I try to sweat you that and I don't have own goal for Martinez or... Oh, no, it's cut into Isaac's goal. <laughs> I'm not complaining about that. And that's half-time. Honestly, we've deserved that. Like, we've played really, really well. I think Man United had one shot. Yeah, I remember it. 70% possession. Happened last time when I played them away. They were just passing the ball about loads. Which I'm not complaining about. I'm the one that's turning it up. So, second half, let's go. Like I said at half time, boys, like, all Man United have been doing is just passing the ball about. That's why the possession's so high. Like, I don't get it. The turn all that, like, I don't get Like, they, they just literally pass the ball about. Like, look, they're just constantly going backwards. Makes no sense. Oh, go on, Anthony Gordon. What it beautifully. Go yourself. Oh, it's a good save by Onana again. Is that going to be it, ref? Oh, uh, come on. Big 2-0 win. I mean, dropping points against Leicester, and I've mentioned it a lot, but look, we won 2-0. Bit like the 22-23 season, same type of vibe, like same type of time of year, early April. Um, well, let's have a look at the league table, because that's what I need to have a look at. Read their league table, let's have a look at the top four. Wow, oh my god. Liverpool have had one extra game, but... The top three teams are all on 69 points. And then we're on 67. We've got a game in hand on Tottenham. And we're seven points in the UCL. So it is looking good with seven games left. We've got to, keep, we've got to just keep going. We've got some nice games coming up. But then look at Leicester. I think they're sitting quite... They're the bottom of the league by. Where they, I don't think they, they can still survive. But they need to win four games minimum. And we drew to them. But look, if we were to beat Leicester, we would have been still fourth. But crazy because obviously the... the oh no, if we, if we were to beat Leicester, we could have been top ten how many goals we beat them by. Wow. Crazy, crazy stuff in the in the career. Well, it's going to be an intense end to see who's going to be getting there at the top of the team. And I personally wouldn't want to win the league. I sounds daft. I'd rather... Get UCL, mean it's realistic, but I'm just sitting there blasting games and picking up points. But that's going to be the end of episode 18, boys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah.